Before I go in with my full coverage routine, I apply my Eye and Lip Mask by Peloton. I am so obsessed with these, you guys. It really keeps my skin really moisturized and really prepped and prepared for that full coverage. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, we're going to be reviewing the new Maybelline 24 Hour Super Stay Full Coverage Foundation. So I am super excited, you guys. launched. I called all of my Ulta's here in Oregon. I went to Walgreens. I went to Walmart several times to try to get my hands on this foundation. Now this foundation better be badass and it better work because <laughs> I feel like I worked for it to um, try to get it and try to buy it to make this review for you guys. So I am super excited to really really try this foundation and see if it really does last a long time and it's from like the reviews that I've seen and also people People wearing it on social media they all say that it's super full coverage and that they love it so um, I'm super curious I always like to find out for myself I don't really like to you know just go with what everybody else says um, I really want to try it for myself so let's go ahead and read what this says um, the color that I got you guys is 120 which is classic ivory um, and then it says that it's full coverage foundation up to 24 hour wear and it also says seamless matte finish um, breathable and comfortable to wear um, fade and transfer resistant hmm, okay oil free and it does not clog your pores and of course it is dermatologist tested so let's go ahead and get started so I'm gonna go ahead and apply my primer and I'm gonna go in with my Mac prep and prime which is the one that I've been constantly using and I am in love with it if you guys have been following my channel for a while, you guys know that I don't like a lot of silicone based primers. I like more primers that have kind of like a lotion feel to it. And then I'm going to go and use my beauty blender to apply my foundation. So I went ahead and open it up and let's go ahead and try it out. So I'm going to go ahead and just do maybe three pumps and see. Dip in my beauty blender and let's do half the face and see what happens. <laughs> Remove that and I have a lot of redness around my nose and my chin area so let's see if that covers it. I have a little bit of blemishes lately. I've been super breaking out um, but oh, it is full coverage. Oh my god. So you guys saw that three pumps really took care of half of my face. I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit closer to you guys so you guys can see. So this is with the foundation. This is without it. So don't mind my skin, it's going through a phase right now. So, but as you guys can see, it is full coverage. It literally covered my redness, which I have a lot of redness just in the center of my face is where usually I have a lot of redness. Um, and I have a, like a little bit of blemishes towards the cheeks um, and that, it, I covered it. Oh my god. Alright guys, I'm gonna go ahead and just do two pumps because <laughs> I feel like three was a little intense. So I'm gonna go ahead and start to blend out this section. Okay guys, so it does dry really fast. So you definitely want to work really fast with this foundation. It is comfortable, um, but when I go like this a little bit, you can tell that it's starting to get a little dry. Um, so that's super matte. Well, it's really comfortable. I mean, it doesn't feel super cakey or heavy. Um, definitely, if you were to wear a lot, I would think that this would be super cakey. So I feel like a little bit goes seriously a long way. You guys saw that on this side, I used three pumps, and then on this side, I only used two. Um, so you guys can tell that a little bit goes such a long way. I mean, I haven't worn it throughout the whole day yet, so I will definitely keep you guys posted on that, um, on how it works throughout the day. So let me go ahead and just finish off the rest of my face, and then I'll be right. Hi guys, so I went ahead and already applied my concealer and my blush, contour, highlight, all of that good stuff. And I feel like the foundation looks really pretty. Um, so it does um, actually, like when I was putting on all my good stuff on my face, um, it kind of made me feel like it's a little bit like the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Foundation. Except that the Pro Longwear, it's slightly a little bit more matte, um, but I feel like it's almost a similarity. 
it does come with a pump so i think that that is super cool because i so of my drugstore foundations i have to like pour it out and i hate that um so i'm really happy that this actually came with a pump um it does feel like a little bit too dry um normally i've been loving using mixing like um, um matte foundations with like more of a luminous um finish foundation together um because i've been loving like that light dewy matte finish foundation if that makes any sense um but the foundation doesn't look bad at all like it looks super pretty but we'll definitely find out if it's oil free um so normally drugstore foundations for me even the pro matte one um it's it is matte but i do get a little bit oily but not too bad um but for right now i'm gonna go ahead and wear this foundation throughout the whole day um and see how it does last i do have to pick up my little doggy from the vet um and then run a few errands here in a little bit so i will definitely keep you guys posted and i'll see you guys soon bye hi guys welcome back so the update on the foundation I've had this foundation since 11 in the morning so it's been about nine hours that I've actually worn this foundation and let me tell you it has hold up such a long time um, I can tell though that right now starting right now like my oils are starting to peek through um, more towards my nose but not so much not super oily where I'm like oh like I'm super greasy um, nothing like that and I did laundry today I folded my laundry put it my put my laundry away I also fixed my closet and I also run errands today um, and I also picked up my doggy from the vet so I've been everywhere today. <laughs> um, I've been kissing my dogs too, like on their fur and no separation around my mouth at all. There's no separation of foundation. Um, here actually just a tiny, tiny bit, but it's like starting to actually separate just a little bit. Um, so I would definitely recommend this for girls who are combo to oily. Um, I feel like this would fit very, very well. Um, I feel like for girls who have dry skin, it's going to be a little bit too dry. I'll really give it a try, you guys. Um, this video is not to tell you here that you need it or also that um, it's not going to work for you because I personally don't know that. I'm only here to review foundations that work for me and if I do like them or if I don't like them, uh, I feel like it's going to be a very good foundation for me like to grab instead of my high-end foundations to kind of save my high-end foundations for like the weekends and just use this during the week. And always remember whatever works for me may not work for you so always keep that in mind whenever you watch my videos. Um, and if you guys do did enjoy this video please give me a big thumbs up also comment down below if you guys have any questions or if you guys have tried this foundation and if you love it too um, or what you didn't like about the foundation but yeah and also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next one i'll see you soon bye